collection of salads. We're at this place called Alfasia. And you got mint tea, fresh mint, real deal oh, yeah. stuff. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells it's amazing. amazing. What is it? So I got the lamb with sweet prunes and almonds. And she got the chicken yeah, one. Chicken with sweet pumpkin. And it looks like caramelized onion. Oh, it's very dark. You can't they're, savor. They're tagines. So it's like slow cooker type dishes. I can't wait to try it. Hey John. <laughs> Look at this. Gemma Alfina. Ah, There's Pachi bartering for some scarves or something. some little treats. This one is pistachio, kind of I guess like baklava. This one's filled with almond, almond. goodness. Almond? And one more. By the way, Pachi got really scared by a fake snake earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> and there is Day. the dates. Shall we try? Yeah. Tell me what you think. Oh. There you go. It tastes like a Fig Newton, almost, for those of you that know what that is. Mm. Like a little fig cookie or something. The almond one. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty good. Tastes like marzipan. Next one. And finally, pistachio. Is Very it nutty. Mmm. Tastes more like peanuts. Nice. I think, yeah, it's peanuts, not pistachio. Okay. This is Marrakesh at 6 o'clock p.m. It's a lot different than earlier. Five hours ago was that. Now it's full of people. And there's snakes everywhere. There's what? Snakes everywhere. You like them? No. They're <laughs> scary. Hey guys. So, just stopped here. That's the first McDonald's I've ever seen with Arabic written on it. Uh, but also just want to show you, this is Newtown, which is a much nicer area than the, the market as far as like it's cleaner, and more roads and things like that, a little more structure, lots of shopping, which is what we're doing now. Hi, good morning. What's the plan? So today we are going to do a walking tour in yeah. Marrakesh, and we are meeting in front of this white building, which is the only white building in the entire city. And then there is the tallest building in all of Marrakesh, it's the Kotobia Mosque. So, I'm excited, I booked this tour, Pachi's going on it, thankfully, me. It's a historical and cultural city center tour, it's going to be three or four hours walking. I'm excited. Uh, Kasba is an area that was used for the workers and servants of the royal palace because the main royal palace of Malakas is not on the other side of the Kasbah. And this is like a, a pizza oven. And then is the fire that is lit just here to the left, just with wood, and then the, 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 the bread is baked on the uh, hot soil there. So warm, delicious, warm, fresh baked. Here's the hammam. The Very traditional. traditional. Bath house. They go once or twice a week, he said. That's a lot. <laughs> this is the soap they use. Oh. <laughs> 
How's the tour going? Good. It's great. We have a private balcony for all of Jim Alfina, the square. Actually, pre made ones and just fix them by themselves, or if they ask for their services, it's just to fix these for them. Now these are the patterns that they use. This is a I mean geometric, for example. This is calligraphic and these are floral. They take these patterns and fix them on the top, like this, for example. And in a piece of cloth like this one, they put any pigments of colors or any um, that powder. And then they start splashing it there on the top of these. I mean, it's a simple way of making things, yet very effective. So just to mark every single part of of design in here. And then with that chisel they start I mean, working things. This is how all the things that you have seen there concerning the stack on plaza in the palace was done. It's the easiest one to cook here in, 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 in Marrakech. I mean we fill it with beef, put beef inside, then a half teacup of olive oil, three cups, big cups of water, a pure saffron, cumin, a lot of garlic and one of these preserved lemon and then we cover it like this and we're taking it to a place that is called Fornaci. Fornaci is a place next to the Hammam where we have been this morning. Always next to it there is a furnace that heats the Hammam and the water of the Hammam. And this tangier is cooked just on the ash of the fire. It takes something like three hours or four hours and it's one of the most tender meat that one can eat here. So. This is the only part of town where they have blacksmiths anymore. Have what? This is the only part of town where they have blacksmiths still. What is that? What is that? People who work with metal. Oh. Wow. Wow. So we're touring around the different areas in the souk where they still make these different types of crafts and stuff. <laughs> Today, gym, maximum relax. We already laid out by the pool a little bit. Not bad. Look, big Moroccan tea area. Moroccan tea. And there is the pool. It's beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. Or actually, midday. Midday. <laughs> Over there. 
there are some camels. You can see right Yeah, there. I don't know if you can see, but over there. <laughs> there are some camels. Do you see that one? Yeah. A black runny. A little one. Camels and horse carriage rides and palm trees. Interesting, interesting Morocco. So, what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Listen. So, it's prayer time. Five times, my understanding is five times a day in Muslim countries, it's the call to prayer, and you hear this. The churches blare, I'm not really sure what it is to be honest, I think it's a prayer, a call to prayer. Uh, five times a day, it's really interesting. The only other time I've been in a Muslim country is in Turkey, I was in Istanbul, and you hear this as well. It's beautiful, it's just totally different and unique from what I'm used to. Very nice. Hey there. Hi. What are we about to do? We're about to do hammam. They don't speak any English, we'll see what happens. So we're about to do a hammam and massage hammam. We don't really know much about it other than it's like a... They scrub you down and bathe you basically and then massage afterwards. Nobody speaks English here, it's all French. We'll see, we're supposed to change into... Please. So we'll report afterwards. See ya. Silhouette, <laughs> Patricia. So, yeah, because of the sun. So, how was the whatever hammam? Well, the hammam was very nice. I really liked the. What happened? So first we got in this hot room. Not so hot. At least that one was normal, warm. And then she washes you, uh, she makes you all wet, and then she put the black soap, and then you lay down, it's very warm, and then they start scrubbing you with some type of gloves. I got so many skin coming out of my body. Yeah, don't do it again, I'm so many. What she means is the lady takes these like black, rough gloves, and after she soaps you up with that, it looks like a black tar paste stuff and washes you. Then she takes the black gloves and starts scrubbing you really hard and you see your your dead skin start to flake away and Pachi had a lot of it. Um, and then, after that? And then we did a massage, an hour massage. It's pretty good, normal massage. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, she took me to a hair salon type and then she blew dry all my hair which was nice I just put up because I had oil all over <laughs> and it was very good I yeah. definitely recommend to do it 45 bucks each I don't think it was so traditional or anything I've heard stories of like a lot of times it hurts and it's super hot and blah 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 but this was like a spa it was nice it's yeah. called Asal a S S A L and it was 450 dirham each, which is about 45 bucks each. Not bad for 30 minute shower and then an hour massage. It's our last night here in Marrakesh. It has been unbelievable. One of my favorite places I've vacationed in the world, I think. Uh, so just wanted to show you the square one last time. Jim Al Fina. All the snake charmers and everything are way over there. They're shooting these blue things in the sky. Uh, and after everybody gets off of work, I don't know if we told you this, but all the locals come and they gather in these circles. And there's comedians performing in the circles. There's belly dancers, all sorts of different stuff. Just so much character and culture. What do you think, Pachi? I like it. It's a fun mess. <laughs> you want to come back to Morocco? Yes. Definitely. To the desert trip. Yeah, definitely. So beautiful here.